So I'm going to have my North Carolina lesson this morning and I am keeping with my lighting adjustments. I actually in this room do not have the overhead light on. It's off because I don't want to get that glare on the keyboard. That's an LED light. I've drawn the blinds as you can see and now I also have that uh, little desk lamp. It has an LED but it's staring up into the it's aimed at the ceiling right there in the corner by the lamp. So it doesn't get anywhere near the keyboard because it needs the room not to be too dark. Um, and interestingly enough, I'm going to mobilize the um, camera here that's aimed down at a sort of a, a, a peripheral side overhead, I call it. This particular cam is going to provide most of what I'll, I'll be using for this lesson. But I also can switch to that uh, real conservatively clear defined overhead that's bigger at 72 inches. This one here is mounted, the closer one to me is mounted on a um, target 60 inch. The other one is a Pro 72. I also have this music stand. Now this music stand has nothing to do with today's lesson but later in the day I'm going to have a student here and so I'm aiming and this is where I'll be sitting at the Steinway so I'm aiming the webcam on a music stand, on the Koenig and Myers music stand. I'm aiming it at the Steinway, and you actually have it um, activated right now. That's why it's, you see it's blue. And if you look at my monitor here, you'll see that it's right here is the um, Steinway, is the Steinway. Now I'm going to switch views. I'm going over to my computer. And what I have is the potential today for th um, three different cameras. Actually, almost four. I'll tell you why I have four. I'm switching to HD Pro now. And that's the pure overhead view. That's the pure overhead view. I may use that too today. So that's uh, that camera. And then the other one I alluded to that I'm going to rely on, let me see if I have it right, is, yeah, that's going to be camera number three. That's the one that's the side overhead. That's going to give me this view. And I'll go back a little so you can see the side overhead that that's coming from and generating from. It's, it's right here. Okay. And, and so that's three cameras. But the third will be for tonight's lesson right here. This is aimed at the Steinway. And I can twirl it around or turn it quickly around and aim it at the student so I can go back and forth doing footage of the student and me. Now this is on QuickTime. This is the QuickTime record, but this, these camera views will also apply to the lesson. The camera views are uh, applying both to the lesson when I go on Skype or FaceTime. The accessibility of these views are already there. And QuickTime. And QuickTime I use for tutorials. Um, this won't be recording the lesson on QuickTime. This will be for me to um, record separately if I want to do a quick time record. But in the course of the Skype and the FaceTime lessons, these are my views and these are my camera settings. You can see there's one, two views actually. There's also a FaceTime view. The FaceTime view is actually governed by the placement of the computer. Let me see if I can get the FaceTime view. It's where the computer, so the computer now it looks like it's facing the Steinway kind of, maybe not even focused. Well, it's not clear, but if I move it, see, I'm moving it over to the Steinway. That's FaceTime. It's, it's not a very good because you end up seeing more of the person's back than you see the piano. So now if I move it toward the Baldwin, you can see, you know, I'm not that pleased, but someone sitting there would might block most of the of the notes. So. I don't use the, what would be the internal camera. It doesn't, it doesn't have much value for me. So the, the most value is in the side overhead. So that's what I'm going to be mostly relying on today for the lesson to North Carolina. And the lighting here is just perfect because I have the blinds drawn so I don't get the sun glare. I have some light in the room by, by putting that lamp uh, directed up at the ceiling. And incidentally, the Steinway comes out a little dark. So what I did for that is I have a regular, 
you can see it looks glary, but it's it's not aimed at the Steinway. So if I turn that off, this side of the room gets too dark. But look, look we get some good clarity here with the other camera, which I showed you.